Well, it's morning. I didn't sleep very well, considering I slept on this bench here. But at least my clothes are dry. What I want to do today is play the role of Chief Inspector Livus and investigate the murder of the tax collector, Processus Vitellius. So let's get started. Good morning. Yes, friend. I just want to let you know I'm starting the murder investigation today. Hope you bring that murderer to justice soon. As do I, friend. Morning. This room. No. Now, how long has this crab meat been here? It's obviously a setup. And it's still raining. Wonderful. At least I think I'll just be around town today, investigating this crime. I won't be out in the wilderness. Any time now? Not now at all. Now, we don't have a lot of information to go on for this case. So let's review the tax record. Oftentimes, to get suspects, it's prudent to follow the money, as they say. So let's see who owed money to the tax collector. Eldafire, 130 drakes. Fargoth, 111 drakes. Finemouth, 54 drakes. Foreign Gilneth, 225 drakes. And Vodunius, 87 drakes. Now just from this information, I would say Foreign Gilneth is our lead suspect, but that's not a very strong case at the moment. Now some of these people we know, well, we're kind of friendly with, so let's start with them and see if we any can time gather now. any information from them. Good morning. If there is anything I can do, I am humbly at your service. Good morning, Fargoth. No, go ahead, Livus. I hope I can help. What's your question? I was hoping you'd tell me about the tax collector. Did you know he was murdered? Someone finally got him, huh? Well, it's no surprise, I suppose. No one likes a tax collector, especially one who flaunts his wealth while taking our hard-earned cash. Only one who could stomach him at all was Favir over in the lighthouse. The two of them spent some time together. Shame, really. She seemed like a nice person. She seemed like a nice woman. Interesting, our tax collector had a romantic interest. I shall add her to my list of people to investigate. Thank you for the information, Fargoth. Ah, Vodunius. Let's see what he has to say. Yes? I don't mind, Livus. Always happy to help someone like you. What's on your mind? Well, I was hoping you could tell me anything you know about the tax collector's murder. Someone finally got him, huh? Well, it's no surprise, I suppose. No one likes a tax collector, especially one who flaunts his wealth while taking our hard-earned cash. Hmm. That's all the information you have on him? Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Now to... Oh, Madam Eldefire. We shall speak to her. Good morning, madam. Can we hurry this along? Well, let's see. That's all right, Livus. You're not interrupting anything important. What can I do for you? Well, I was hoping you can give me any, any information on the murder of a tax collector. Only one who could stomach him at all was Thavir over in the lighthouse. Two of them spent some time together. Shame, really. She seemed like a nice woman. Okay. Thank you for your time. Now, we have two more people on the tax record list. And the woman from the lighthouse. Let's go speak with the woman at the lighthouse first. Let's hear it. What's Let's this see about? If she has any new information for us. This might not have been a crime for money. It might have been a crime of passion. Don't know if there's any kind of love triangle going on here in Sedanin. We'll find out. 
Now, it looks like there are some alchemical ingredients I can collect. I shall do that after the conclusion of the investigation. If I can get that far. Sedanine Lighthouse. Morning. So, Livus, you're new to Sedanine, and you'd like some help finding your way around. Very sensible. Go ahead, ask away. Well, she seems friendly enough. I'm here to speak to you about the murder of Processus Vitellius. Processus murdered? No, tell me it's not so. He was the gentlest man I've ever met. He and I had become so close in the past few months. I don't know what I will do without him. I've only seen him angry once or twice, and never raised a hand to anyone. This is so sad. When have you seen him get angry? Well, not even angry, I suppose. I saw him arguing once with a foreign Gilneth about his taxes. He thought Processus had been levying too much and skimming off the top for himself. Ridiculous. Processus wouldn't have done such a thing. I'm sure of it. Please find out what happened, friend, and if you find out what became of Processus's ring, it would ease my heart. Tell me about this ring. I gave him the ring many months ago, and it was dear to him. I would like it to remember him by. Okay. My gut tells me this Thavir really cared for the tax collector. Wouldn't really make sense to give him a ring, murder him, and then not take the ring? Unless maybe he hid it somewhere. But the gold was still, was still on his body, so... I don't think this gets us very far, except maybe the argument with Foreign Gilneth. So let's leave her momentarily and talk to the other people on our list. We have to find Finemouth and talk to this Foreign Gilneth character. And it's still raining. Great. Really soaked through my clothes again. Now we're going to have to explore a bit. I don't know where these other folk are. Greetings. Do you know anything about Processus Vitellius? No one likes a tax collector. Gotcha. Alright. Let's see here. Irene Lenin's shack. I will listen, Outlander, but Irene make it quick. Lennon. I'm sure he can loiter in front of his own house. Nothing suspicious about that. Finemouth's shack. The prey approaches. I hope not. <clears throat> Greetings. So, Livus, you're new to St. Anine, and you'd like some help finding your way around. Very sensible. Go ahead, ask away. He seems friendly enough. Well, I'm here to speak to you about the murder of Processus Vitellius. Someone finally got him, huh? Well, it's no surprise. No one likes a tax collector. Well, you know, fine mouth, you were in the tax record as owing him money. Uh, do you have anything to say about that? Phew! You're bitter green, Outlander. Might as well wear a sign, new in town. Word of advice, buy a little goodwill. Lose a few drakes, gain a friend. Folks will loosen up if you spread a little of the Emperor's gold around. Uh, is, are you asking for a bribe? This is an, an official investigation. I am want to know any information about the tax collector you can give me. Talk to everyone. Talk as cheap. Ask questions. You don't ask, you never learn. Well, I am asking. I don't know if you're being evasive or you're not understanding the situation here. Our Godians are very hard to read. They don't exactly wear their emotions on their face or their eyes. No, they don't. Well, I spent the entire morning in the rain and I pretty much got nothing. Let's speak to Foreign Gilneth. Maybe we can get some information out of him. Otherwise, I don't know if we're going to be able to solve this case. 
in Drizzle's shack. Foreign Gilneth's shack. Okay. Greetings, sir. What do you want? I'm investigating the murder of Processus Vitellius. That fetcher? You damn right I did, man. And a good thing, too. He was skimming a load of money from all of us honest people, overcharging us on our taxes and keeping the difference for himself. He was always flaunting his money around, showing off his new clothes and jewels. So I killed the bastard, and left his body out there to rot, with all his ill-begotten gold still on him. Wow, so upfront about this crime. Now, if you had grievances against him, or any evidence of any wrongdoing, you should have taken it to the authorities. But instead, you took the law into your own hands. I'm sure you know the penalty for killing an Imperial officer. And that is death. Sorry, that's no excuse for murder, and your punishment has been decided. You Inma! You're one of them, huh? Come to kill me? Well, give it your best shot, Dark Elf. I have no problem spilling more of the blood of the Emperor's lackeys. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, I should cast my dagger. And... I'm gonna cast Sanctuary. I'm going to cast Ancestral Ghost. Get him, Grandpa Ghost. <coughs> Let's cast a shield. Oh. oh, it's over. Found our criminal. Thank you, Grandpa. Let's see what we got. Common belt. Common pants. Common shirt. Common shoes. Process Vitellius's ring. Okay. We'll take that. And two gold. Well, sir, you won't be needing that anymore. I guess we'll have to dispose of this body. And a book. A Dance in Fire, Chapter 6. Perhaps we shall read that later. Well, we found our man. Unfortunately, it came to blows. Now, oh, chest. Sorry, sir, you don't need that anymore. Now, let's take a look at this ring. Oh, it's a very expensive ring, that's for sure. And she gave it to him. So... I think the first thing to do is to return the ring to the tax to the tax collector's speed traveler. This ghost is gonna follow me around. Oh, I guess he's gone. Back to Ethereos. Well, if he wasn't so upfront about his crime, I don't think I would have been able to solve anything. bribed people, but I really don't think anybody knew any information. There were no witnesses. He killed them out in the swamp. Greetings. Go ahead, Livus. I hope I can help. What's your question? Actually, I'm just here to return your ring to you. Um, it was foreign Gilneth and he admitted his crime and paid the price for it. Oh, you found the ring I gave him. Thank you so much, Livus. It's good to have something to remember him by, though I never, I'll never see him again. Here, take this. He usually traveled with a couple when he was doing his job, but he didn't la this last time. If only he had. If only he had, indeed. Well, madam, I shall leave you to your grief. Sorry for your loss. Well, the rain hasn't stopped.
Now it's time to inform the authorities that the investigation is completed. Greetings. Any time now. Greetings, Okusius. What's this regarding? This is regarding the murder of Processus Vitellus. I heard you've been asking around about his murder. I'm glad to see this matter brought to its completion. Here's your, re here's your reward, Livus. Good to see there are still some citizens who understand their loyalty to the Empire. Yes, loyalty to the Emperor, and also 500 drakes. Now, I'm curious... My disposition didn't go up any after completing that quest. Okay. Well, we are now 500 drakes richer, so I think it's time to do a little shopping. Also, I need to repair my weapon. What's this about? This room. Census and excise warehouse. Lock level 45. Hmm. That's interesting. Now, I'm trying to remember my shopping list. One was the mortar and pestle. Maybe we can get some armor. Please, feel free. Talk at your leisure. I'm not well, thanks. I'm actually just here to bother. Oh, actually, I have these things to sell. Didn't actually mean to pick them up. But we shall sell them. Tankard. The book we're going to read later. Seven gold for all that. Alright. So the first thing we need is the... Where is it? The mortar and pestle. Yes. Now, I'm pretty sure we still can't afford any of these scrolls. However, I didn't eat anything today, so I'm going to buy a drink. Some more master. And now for apparel. I really would like some armor. I'm not sure what kind yet. It's only 100 gold so far. I think I'm gonna get a spear. Iron spear. That's pretty cheap. Oh, also. I want to buy a spell. Perhaps a long range spell. That's a touch spell. That's a target. Self. Self. I think fireball will do as good. It's also the cheapest. We'll buy that. Now, we still have 300 gold left. That is just right there. Okay. Oh, we need to repair our weapon. Oop. Sorry. Which we need hammers for. They're quite expensive and quite heavy. Now, let's see. How do we do this?
Wow, that could have went better. We're not even at halfway. Alright. I think that's it for now. Oh, we need to buy something to eat. What is edible here? Cork bulb root? Marshmallow? Muck? No, oh, thank you. Scathe craw. Scrib jerky. Okay, that's probably edible. Guy to Vardenfell. Okay. That's what we'll get. Is it still raining? Ah, it's clear. Just gonna sit out here in the sun. Warm up a little, dry my clothes a little, and eat a well deserved meal of scrib jerky and a drink. One more thing I wanted to do is to make another ally in town, though he won't be around. I wanted to talk to Vodonius and speak to him about his cursed ring. My patience is limited. It's alright, Libus, you're not interrupting anything important. What can I do for you? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about your cursed ring. Not happy here, in fact, no, I'm not. If I had a hundred drakes, I'd be on the next boat to Narsus. I came here to make my fortune, and all I've got is this cursed ring. Say, would you give me a hundred drakes for it? The ring itself is worth more than that, but the enchantment is cursed, and no one will buy it from me. It has a nifty, it has a nifty little enchantment that helps you run faster. The problem is, it sucks the blood right out of you every time you use it. Please, you'll be doing me a real favor. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you money for the ring. Thank you, you're a lifesaver. I'll grab the next boat out of here. Thanks again, and I hope your luck is here. Your luck here is better than mine was. So, new Cusius's cursed ring. Any time now. Safe travels, friend. Now let's check out this ring. Oh, it does look fancy. Fortify athletics five for sixty seconds. All right, I'm going to test this out. Hopefully, I don't kill myself. See. Yes. Oops. I wanted to try that. Ow. Go ahead, stranger. Huh. I do run a little faster. How much is it actually worth? One hundred. Exactly one hundred. Alrighty then. Take care, friend. I wish Any you luck. Any time now. All right, that's useless. I'm going to sell that if I can. Please, feel free. Talk at your leisure. Well, I helped out a friend, and I it only cost me forty-four gold. And I do have a spear. Okay, that should be good for now. Now my, my clothes time is are still precious, dry, so, so make it quick. I think I'm gonna sit by this fire here. And until next time, safe travels. <laughs>